Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how to use a nipple shield. This was given to us in the hospital when we were in the NICU and we were trying to figure out how to breastfeed. We were trying different positions and trying different latching mechanisms. So they gave us a nipple shield because they said it would help with latch, especially because my daughter was so used to just drinking out of bottles. So it's supposed to help with nipple confusion too. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use the nipple shield directly from what the Medela instruction says. And the first nipple shield that they gave us in the hospital was the 20 millimeter, which is the small. So I actually had to go out and purchase a larger nipple, nipple shield. And the one I purchased is a size 24. First we'll use a pump of some sort. This is kind of like a, the Medela manual pump here that came with my breast pump. So the reason why I use this is just to stimulate my milk supply and also to make my nipple more prevalent. If you have flat nipples, I think this would really help you. That way it makes your nipple more erect. So of course, just like in my other video, you just center your nipple in there. Make sure it's not touching the side where it will rub. And with this manual pump, I don't use the letdown because it's not hard enough for to, to stimulate my milk supply, so I just right away start using this. And this will just stimulate my nipple and make it more erect so it's easier to use the nipple shield. And you can tell the difference if you look at this nipple compared to this one. This is the one that I use the pump on. This one hasn't had any action. <laughs> so this one is definitely much more erect. You can see it's redder and this one nothing. The directions first say Always wash the nipple shield in hot soapy water and rinse in hot water before and after use. So the reason why you want to get it wet is to make it more pliable and it's going to create a suction to your nipple. So it has this cut out here and this is where your baby's nose is going to go and you know you don't want your baby's nose right against the silicone so having it here also lets it so that your baby's nose can touch your skin too which will increase your milk supply as well. It also says to apply a small amount of lanolin cream under the rim, but not in the nip nipple portion. And that also might help it adhere to the breast. I don't have any lanolin cream. I never used it. I know a lot of women help it, use it for um, dry or cracked nipples to help with breastfeeding, but I never had sore nipples or if I did, I just used a cold compress and that helped it a lot. So I don't have any lanolin cream. I just used water. So the directions say first to Place it in hot water, so that's what we're going to do to make it more pliable, and that'll help to create the suction that you're going to want to have. Okay, so. Alright, the next step it says to handle the nipple shield by the rim. Turn the nipple shield inside out halfway, place the nipple shield over the breast with the nipple centered inside the nipple portion of the shield. Then flip the right side out and closing as much as the nipple as you can. So this is really confusing, but it's it sounds really confusing, but it actually is really simple. So all you're going to do is you want this to be halfway in because that's what you're going to put on your nipple. So if you do that, it makes it easier to put on your nipple and create suction rather than just putting it directly on. So with your thumbs, just push it in. So this can be kind of tricky. I've had to do it a couple times to figure out the best way that works. So what you want to do is place both of your thumbs on there and then kind of just you're, just use one of your thumbs to guide it in. So you're just like sticking one thumb in there. And if you can, oop, it popped right back out. So now you can see my thumb's just in there and that makes it halfway in. See how it's sticking out on that side? That's actually the part that's gonna be on your nipple and your areola. So, and that's what it looks like. The directions can be kind of confusing. That's why I'm using the directions here to show you guys. Okay, so now we're just gonna take out our breast. Okay. 
So then you're going to put your nipple directly in the center there. And then it says to flick it out. So I just push, like grab the meat of my breast on my nipple and just press it on there. And you can see that it creates suction and then you just want to flatten out the outside. And if you notice, like sometimes I've really noticed that it lifts up a lot here. So sometimes I'll just take some more water and just rub it on there and reapply it. And if, depending on how you're breastfeeding, that's where you want the opening. If you're going to hold your your baby sideways like this, then you want the this opening to be over here. So just take it off just by peeling it right off and then just reattach it because if your baby's mouth is over here but this portion of the shield is over here, you don't want your baby's nose touching that plastic there. You want as much skin to skin as you can get while you're breastfeeding. So you would just reattach it so that the nose part was over there or over here, however you're gonna breastfeed. You insert your nipple into that part there and then just kind of slide it and you're going to grab the meat of your breast and just almost like pinch it out and it snaps your nipple out like that and then you can just make sure that you have it on there secure and then you can fill it with some breast milk so that when you go to feed your baby there's something in there right away for the baby to taste so your baby knows okay this is food and gets comfortable with the feeling of the shield and then after a minute or two of using the shield you want to take it off make sure your baby isn't ravenous and has had a little bit to eat first and then take the nipple shield off and try to just breastfeed now some babies aren't going to be happy with just a minute or two of breastfeeding so I might give it a little longer or if your baby is having nipple confusion and is on bottles Give the baby half a bottle before you're trying to use the nipple shield. That way, you know, they're not super upset and it'll be easier for you and baby and less stressful for both of you. So another thing I wanted to point out is that it says to tickle baby's lower lip with nipple until uh, the baby opens wide. So just pretend this is the baby's mouth here. So you want to tickle the baby's bottom lip until they open their mouth wide. Now it's important that you're not putting your nipple right into the baby's mouth that you actually wait for them to open up their mouth because you don't want to always have to be forcing them forcing the nipple into your breast because that way when you do when you are breastfeeding without the shield you're not going to have your nipple is not going to be the same feeling as the shield it's a much softer tissue so you want the baby to, to associate feeding with opening their mouth and then the food comes rather than you having to jam it in there like with a bottle you put that into the baby's mouth that's different from breastfeeding I hope you guys found this video helpful I know using a nipple shield can be really confusing so my hope is that you guys can learn to wean you and your baby off the nipple shield and eventually enjoy breastfeeding just with the breast and your baby I know it can be really hard and I'm so glad that I got the breastfeeding experience that I did with my baby even though it was wasn't very long the nipple shield really helped us so I'm hopeful that it can really help you guys as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye